everyone and welcome to another room build in the sims 4 this time i'm building a nursery and it's called or at least i call it the choco nursery and choco uh, it comes from the word chocolate and i know the pronunciation doesn't have anything to do with each other but it's just like saying choco but the reason why I chose uh, a world related with chocolate, it's because this uh, nursery, it's, uh, or it has a brown color scheme and it's a nursery. So it's supposed to be for kids uh, or babies and babies are sweet. So sweet and brown, it's chocolate. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, uh, it's been a long time since I've done a room build in The Sims 4. And that's because I only had the base game and that kind of made me, I don't know, not as inspired as I should be to build. Uh, I needed more extra content, more objects to inspire me, so I didn't log into the game to be honest for months now. But I decided to get some extra content because there's a lot of stuff packs now and game packs and expansion packs so i went to the sims vip website and if you don't know um that website you should because it's really good it's a website uh related with sims news and it has game guides and a bunch of cool stuff you should definitely check it out but i went there to see uh which objects came or come with uh, every single expansion pack, stuff pack or game pack and I really like the ones that uh, come with the cool kitchen stuff pack so I decided to get that and it was one of the cheapest as well so I was like yeah I'm gonna get this one this looks pretty cool and I bought it and yeah I'm really happy I really like the decorations that comes with there's a vase of flowers and there's some uh, paintings as well I just I like it uh, I do like it uh, but anyway um, I was just thinking right now because I saw the the crib right there uh, I wonder when EA is going to do the toddlers in The Sims 4 because I want cribs that look like actual cribs like bigger cribs uh, for toddlers and whatnot like the sims 3 ones because that one it's cute but i want bigger cribs i really do uh, anyway like i was uh saying before as you can see this nursery has a brown color scheme and right here i think this is the main area to be honest because it was the one where i worked most um it's a changing table i'm of course it's not usable uh, as a changing table it's just for a decorative um, function but you know it looks pretty well and I wasn't the one that came out with this idea I saw it on Simproved and I thought it was a very smart and creative idea and I decided to use it uh, and yeah it looks really nice to use that uh, sitting and make them uh, make it higher into the little uh, dresser and just looks like a, a changing table and I, I really like it uh, I think it's a very smart and creative idea um, but yeah I do spend a lot of time on this and you will see me uh, doing this part I don't know if it's three or four times because uh, I didn't realize that when I was changing the colors of the walls that the objects would get deleted um, and I changed the colors of the walls a lot of times not a lot of times but sometimes and every time that I did it the objects got deleted uh, because I did use uh, some sheets on these objects the ones that are like um, higher using the the sheet to increase uh, the height or the how lower they are so that makes some of them being deleted but yeah and the um, location of the objects will change as well because I will perfect the, the location of every object as I do them uh, over and over again 
but yeah and those flowers are the ones that i talk about those yellow ones uh there are a lot uh, other colors as well but yeah as you can see this was the first time the objects got deleted and yeah i changed the uh wall color of the left wall and i didn't realize that it was the actual changing the color that made the objects being deleted but I will eventually um, actually understand that but right now I'm just um, overlapping some towels to make look like they have different colors uh, one yellow and two of them are white but it's actually four towels they are just overlapping each other um, and yeah and I have to say one of my favorite objects it's that bear on the left corner with the holding that heart it's just so cute for bedrooms um uh, and for kids it's just it's adorable i really really like it. it's probably my favorite toy as a decoration in the entire uh game it looks really really nice uh but yeah i think i will use it in every single kids bedroom that i will do I mean, maybe not in a boy bedroom, but in a boy nursery, I will definitely use it as well. And as you can see, I did enlarge that wall decoration. Uh, and that's because I am so happy, by the way. I didn't um, know how to enlarge uh, wall decorations because I don't have... Um, my keyboard it's different from the us keyboard so the sheet that um was given by ea doesn't work on my keyboard and there's a lot of other uh people in other countries that have the same problem because their keyboards have different placement of the keys or key placement so the sheet wouldn't work um but i ended up figuring it out after a year <laughs> It's been a year and I finally figured out, I find uh, on the photo forum uh, how to actually um, using the sheet uh, with, uh, with my keyboard and I'm happy I finally can enlarge objects and that is one of the things that actually made me go back to the game as well because I was getting a little bit sad of seeing people doing all of this tough stuff uh, or cool stuff with enlarging several objects and I was like oh I wish I could do that but I can't because the sheet doesn't work on my keyboard but yeah it finally uh, it works because I found an answer finally but yeah I'm happy about it anyway as you can see I don't know if I talked about this before but I did use some um, white decorations around the entire uh, bedroom and especially those Christmas ones that came with the holiday or Christmas free pack uh, and that pack is still available on Orange, Origin to download if you want but I do use that a lot because I think it's really cute and I love how the um, white stickers look against dark walls so I do use um, those stickers and those Christmas decorations a lot because I, I just think it looks really nice especially for kids bedrooms and nurseries but yeah as you can see the objects got deleted again and this is where I figured it out that it was from changing the colors of the walls that the objects would be deleted Right now here I'm doing a reading corner with a couch and a bookshelf and I did put in a little rabbit on the corner of the couch. It's just supposed to be like a little pillow or just a, a little toy for um, your kids. I mean it's a nursery so you're supposed to have this cool stuff and those toys around the place. And on the right uh, of this um, dresser right now or of this closet i'm placing some bookshelves and they are clipping through the wall but i i do place them correctly so they don't do that but i put them on that little uh corner right corner and just put some decorations there just a, a little bit of a of a decorative corner just to make it a little bit more colorful and whatnot and i was trying to 
put the books on top of each other but I didn't manage to do it correctly so I just put in that little toy that looks really cute the one on the bottom uh, and yeah I by the way this wall right now I'm going to change it to a dark brown because like I said I just like how the white stickers look against the um, dark colors so the dark brown looks better to me personally and I have to say I really like brown nurseries I just I don't know it's so common to see a typical blue nursery for a baby uh, that's going to be male and pink nurseries for females so it's just I don't know and when when you don't know the gender and you start to doing nursery people normally go with yellow or green and I I don't know, I, I just, I like to see something different and normally people choose lights and really colorful and cute colors, not in your face colors and I like using um, the use of dark colors in nurseries because it's different and it can still look really really good like, I, I don't know, I, I really like the brown colors uh, brown as a color on a nursery I think it looks uh, really good and by the way there I just deleted the room accidentally but it was okay <laughs> uh, but yeah if I ever had a kid of my own I would like to have or made the nursery brown I just like it but yeah I'd probably next time make a nursery more kind of uh, with light colors and more typical um, but yeah uh, I think I, I'm mo almost finishing, I'm not sure, um, but yeah, yeah, we are in the screenshots, uh, thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful week, and yeah, bye!